live and breathe horses and we are going on with this wonderful book more than a horseman which is a collection of stories about Tom Dorrance and the stories were produced and collected by his wife Margaret Dorrance and by John St Ryan. Today's story is by or from Sherry Knapp. Three simple lessons that Tom Dorrance taught me. Don't judge. Keep it simple. Take your time. As I write this, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing that applies to horse training or to the greatest horse trainer of our time. But please allow me to explain. Lesson number one, don't judge. I had been riding and starting colts for a few years when I decided to train a young stallion. At that time, there were not as many women trainers. There was an established and respected horse trainer that approached me at a local event. This old boy been telling me, women shouldn't ride stallions because the stallions could smell a woman. He informed me that it was not fair to the stallion to have a woman rider. One of the first horses I asked Tom to help me with was this young stallion. Tom was so encouraging. He only thought of the rider as a person to communicate with the horse. Tom showed no prejudices. He didn't care if I was a cow boy or a cow girl, or the horse was a stallion or a gelding. Tom showed me how to improve my timing so that I could redirect my horse's mind before my horse even made a move. Lesson number two, keep it simple. One day, Tom was watching us start two-year-olds. It was the second day and my filly still wouldn't free up her feet and walk out. Tom quietly got on her and said as he rode by, hand me that shovel. Imagine my surprise when the most gentle horseman I'd ever met asked me for the shovel. He rode out the driveway with the shovel over his shoulder and gently tapped the filly on her rump with the end of the shovel until her feet moved faster. Every time she made the slightest change, he would stop tapping her rump. His timing was incredible. I remember standing in the far barnyard where I dismounted. Tom and the filly were on the same page and watching in awe as he rode off in the distance. I chuckled to see how the young horse had relaxed and the filly was happy knowing exactly what Tom was asking her to do. Today, we all want to know the secret to Tom and all the great trainers. Tom kept it simple. Lesson number three, take your time. Tom never got in a hurry and never rushed through a problem. At the Lazy K, we always had lots of young horses we were starting so there was never a shortage of opportunities to learn from Tom. After he'd spent a good part of the day offering suggestions and encouraging us, I asked Tom how much more time he had. He looked at his watch, paused, and without looking up, he coolly remarked, well, I'm 65 years old now. That was all he said. <laughs> Tom could do that many times he would not say what you expected him to say. Tom was not a person to quit on something until he got a change. If you asked Tom for help, he hung in there. He took whatever time the horse needed. Tom could completely focus on the problem and tune everything else out. He only cared about the horse. Tom taught us that going slower actually got the job done faster. Often now, when we talk about what we want out of life, to ride a good horse is at the top of the list. Tom made that possible for us. Tom had endless wisdom, not to mention perfect timing and boundless patience. The hundreds of lessons Tom taught are worth learning, or in some cases, relearning. His insights always apply to horsemanship and many times, on a broader note, they apply to life. Something Tom 
always did was fix it up and let him find it. Not only with the horses, but with people. He would give you enough of a suggestion so that you could figure out the answer to your problem or question. I would end up sometimes mulling over and over what he says. His answers always made the problem or questions seem simple. Thank you for joining me today. Keep tuning into the light and I look forward to seeing you next time.